In the culture wars debate uh, tonight, a life and death debate. Uh, should young girls be required to get a new vaccine to prevent cervical cancer? The maker of the vaccine is backing down, but at least one U.S. governor is not. Let's turn to CNN's Mary Snow. She has the story. Mary? Wolf, at the heart of the debate, the HPV vaccine, which combats a sexually transmitted virus that causes cervical cancer. It's made by drug maker Merck. Facing criticism, Merck says it's backing off lobbying states to make the vaccine mandatory in schools. We don't want to be a distraction from the goal of trying to vaccinate women. Uh, and so if we are, we needed to reevaluate our position. Doctors who applaud the vaccine say they have reservations about mandating its use since the vaccine was only approved last year. Conservative groups have other reasons to oppose it. Some say it will promote promiscuity. Others say parents, not government, should be in control. If the parent is in control, then the issues of, of abstinence before marriage, the, the, uh, the moral issues are all going to be directed and controlled by those parents. That argument is not swaying Governor Rick Perry, a Republican, who made Texas the first state to mandate that sixth grade girls receive the HPV vaccine. For the life of me, when the CDC and when the other experts come forward and say, this is safe, it's been tested, and it's available, why in the world we would not make it available to uh, our daughters? Perry's office says the fact Merck will not lobby states has no impact on his decision. But a fellow Texas Republican lawmaker is hoping the Merck decision will help overturn the mandate. My fear is that we don't have enough answers to what this drug will do to 11-year-old girls. You cannot give it the government stamp of approval until you know all the answers to the questions. Both the Food and Drug Administration and the Centers for Disease Control say five years of testing suggests the vaccine is safe. Wolf? All right, Mary, thanks very much for that. Uh